hello guys welcome to civil concept and uh, in this video i will show you how to calculate cement sand and aggregate for 18 inch by 18 inch column okay so you can see in this picture this is 18 inch by 18 inch uh, column and uh, you, uh, if you have different dimension then you can calculate uh, same like this okay so it is very easy to calculate the cement sand and aggregate for uh, different uh, concrete volume and here i will show you step by step process okay so first of all we have to define the column dimension which i have taken how much 18 inch by 18 inch okay if we convert this inch 18 inch into meter then we will get how much 0 0.4572 meter okay so first of all i have converted all the dimension into meter you can see here this column has this uh this along this side 18 inch along this side 18 inch and height of pillar i have taken is how much 10 feet okay so uh 10 feet will be 3.048 meter okay so in first step we have defined the dimension of the column if you have different dimension then you can take different uh, different uh, parameters okay now in step number two we will calculate the volume of column okay so volume of column is simply length multiply width multiply height okay so length is our how much 0 0.4572 meter and uh, again the length is it means 10 inch by 10 inch uh, sorry 18 inch by 18 inch and into 10 feet which is 3.048 meter okay if we calculate it we will get 0 0.6371 cubic meter and this is guys weight volume of concrete okay this is weight volume of uh, a column and if we convert it into dry volume then we have to multiply it with uh, 1.54 because you have to take more uh, 70 uh, 52 to 55 percent of this weight volume okay so we have if we have 0 0.6371 uh, cubic meter of weight volume then uh, to convert into dry volume we have to multiply this total volume of concrete which is weight volume into 1.54 which is 54 percent okay if we take 52 percent then we, we can simply uh, multiply it with with 1.52 okay so after calculating we will get how much 0 0.981134 cubic meter okay you can take only up to three digit i have taken here uh six digit okay so concrete is always mixed in dry uh, dry form to calculate the dry volume multiply the total volume of concrete by 1.54 it depends on the percentage okay we, you can take uh, 52 to 54 percent okay okay so we have calculated dry volume of concrete now we have to calculate cement sand and aggregate from this dry volume of concrete okay so in step three we have to choose the concrete mix ratio which is m20 m25 m15 m10 m75 m5 and so on okay so this is grade of concrete and this is the nominal mix it means m25 grade of concrete required one part of cement one part of sand and two part of aggregate okay similarly for m20 grade of concrete one 1.5 three it means one part of cement 1.5 parts of sand and three part of aggregate similarly for m15 grade of concrete one two four it means cement sand and aggregate and so on okay this is the mixed ratio okay so concrete is generally mixed in different ratios such as one 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 to four 1 1.5 is to 3 etc okay like you can see in this picture so to calculate the cement sand and aggregate for different mix ratio we have to assume, assume uh, one grade of concrete for example i am taking here 1 2 4 okay which is one part of cement two parts of sand and four part of aggregate you can also take 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay this it's your choice okay now in step number four this is our final calculation which is calculate the quantity of cement sand and aggregate okay so first of all i am going to calculate the cement quantity now the formula is this is the part of cement and this is the sum of ratio multiplied by dry volume okay so guys we have calculated here we have taken the mixed ratio one to four so its sum will be how much two two plus 4 plus 1 which is 7 okay so if we had taken 1 is to 1 is to 2 then its sum will be 2 plus 1 plus 1 which will be 4 okay but here we have taken 1 is to 2 is to 4 so its sum will be how much 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 okay so here i have given 2 plus uh, 4 plus 1 
and uh, multiply by dry volume which we have already calculated which is how much here you have calculated 0 0.981134 okay so this is the our formula part of cement divided by sum of ratio multiply by dry volume so after calculating this we will get how much 0 0.1401 cubic meter of cement okay but uh, cement always comes in bag so we have to convert this cubic meter into bags to do so we have to multiply with its density this is volume into density and we will get the value in kg okay so we have to uh, prepare 201.8 kg of cement to construct this column okay so if we convert it into bags then we have to divide it by 50 which will be 4.03 bags of cement okay similarly if we calculate the uh, sand ratio uh, sand then we have to apply same formula this is part of sand divided by sum of ratio into uh, dry volume okay so part of uh, sand is 2 divided by sum is 2 1 plus 2 plus 4 multiply by dry volume and we will get how much 0 0.280 cubic meter okay so this is our uh, sand quantity okay similarly if we calculate for the aggregate then we have to apply same formula part of aggregate divided by sum of ratio multiply by dry volume okay so if we put all the value 4 divided by sum of ratio is this much and dry volume is this much after calculating we will get how much 0 0.54 cubic meter okay so guys this is a volume of uh, aggregate this is volume of sand and this is the number of bags of cement in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate for different dimension of the column beam and slab as well okay so let us check with the help of a website here go to www.civilconcept.com okay and you will reach in this website okay so in number uh, five six seven you will get in number one click here okay after clicking it you will reach on this page okay so this is what concrete calculator to estimate the concrete materials it means cement sand and aggregate and it is for beam column slab okay so put here input length which is our 10 inch put here 10 inch width is also 10 inch okay sorry it is not 10 inch it is 18 inch and this is also 18 inch and height thickness is how much 10 feet so i am putting a 10 feet after that our ratio was how much 1 is to 2 is to 4 okay let us check here uh, we had taken ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4 okay so we will put here 1 is to 2 is to 4 after that total number of column will be 1 if you have uh, if you have more number of column then you can put here 1 2 3 4 5 uh, it is you okay after that if you uh, want to calculate in tripper or tractor then you have to mention here the volume of tripper or tractor otherwise leave it okay after that you have to provide your conversion factor how much percentage uh, if you want to take okay so dry volume is equal to weight volume into 1.54 i have taken here 1.54 i think okay so here you can see one point of, uh, to convert into dry volume i have taken the factor 1.54 okay so i am putting here 1.54 and now just click on calculate so you will get answer in second the weight volume of concrete required with 0 0.637 which we have calculated here 0 0.3637 uh, and again dry volume is 0 0.981 uh, 0 0.981 this is also accurate and now volume of cement required this much sand required this much aggregate required this much weight of cement required this much 201 kg and bags of cement required four uh, four bags so let us check here here we have four bags of cement 0 0.28 cubic meter of sand okay so here you can see 0 0.28 cubic meter of sand and bags of cement four point uh, sorry uh, aggregate is how much 0 0.561 so here 0 0.56 okay so all data are accurate and you will get answer in second okay so if you also want to check this uh, any numerical or answer uh, you can uh, visit this website if you want to download this ppt then you can visit this www.civilconcept.com you can download from there or also you can use this calculator okay so this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil equity thank you